right, giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kapadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the Atheon who are around the world. Pushing the word of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, in true faith and in sincerity. All right? So, uh, we want to send much love to all you Akiyam out there, and uh, this is one of Esau's, you know, <laughs> one of one of his wicked days that they they dub Mother's Day, right? Which uh, we we understand this gives reverence and praise to the Queen of Heaven and that entire vibration and that doctrine that that's being pushed out to uplift the women, right? And when you uplift the women, what brothers, well, not brothers. Let me rephrase that. What men in the world don't understand is that women in, in their natural capacity being left to themselves are chaotic. They don't deal with order. Women are emotional and they deal with emotions and their emotions change, you know, from, from one minute to the next. So she, that makes her irrational, erratical. Men deal with logic and reason. This is why the Heavenly Father set up this truth and he said, what, the uh, men of my flock, Get that real quick. Uh, uh, is that Jeremiah? I think it's in uh, 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 Proverbs. Yeah, that one in Proverbs 21 and 3. But we can get that one and see if you can find that one. Uh, Isaiah or Jeremiah. Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Go to Ezekiel. Uh, I'm going to say 34. Yeah, yeah Connor. Okay, so you bring out Revelation. It should be 21 and 3. Revelation 21 and 3. Okay, this is uh, Revelation 21 and 3. It says, And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men. The tabernacle, and that's what's being what's being resurrected, rebuilt, right? Tabernacle, the temple, the kingdom. The, the, the tabernacle of David. Yep. King David, right? Which uh King David is going to be the head of, of under Yahweh of the rest of the, the well the entire nation. King David is going to sit on this throne, so that 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 throne of David is being resurrected, and and that tabernacle is of men. All right. So what you have in this society, this society has artificially made women more precious than fine gold, which is the absolute opposite of what the scripture says. Men, men are the ones that will be made or being made more precious than fine gold. But this, this society tells you that women are more precious than fine gold and men have gone out of their wits to obtain this false treasure, right. this, this, this false uh, prize, if you will. But the real prize are the men of the nation of Israel and you're gonna find that out as this lesson progresses, all right? So if you would, one more time, brother, yep. the tabernacle. Revelation 21 and three. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men. So that tabernacle of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai is of men. All right, so he's dealing with men just for that same principle. That's how the Heavenly Father created us. He created men to deal with law and order. And with the building of the tabernacle, the, the Heavenly Father is, is uh, through his will, is reestablishing law and order in the earth. See, law and order has been stripped from the earth through its prior, well, its, its uh, recent, uh, the, the, the men that he set over it, the powers that be, the recent powers that be, Esau, Edom, they deal with chaos. This is why the woman is so attracted to this society. They built and dedicated this society to chaos, and women are all for it. They love this society here in Babylon because the lawless one has set this up. And this is why they, they despise us and hate us even more, but they hate these niggas out in the world unless they doing for them. A woman will look at you if you allow them as, your, as their personal ATM machines. Right. And, and, and just a thing of amusement. You are to keep them happy and, and keep, keep them with money. And if you ain't doing that, they ain't got no love for you. Broke. But much more, right, the men of Israel who coming back to our knowledge, coming back to law and order, they really despise us, you know? And and, and we cool with that. Because we know ultimately the Heavenly Father is going to give us our, you know, our field 
of, of women. Women ain't gonna be an issue when the kingdom is established. It's only an issue now, and women seem to be the prize because they've been pedestalized. So, uh, yeah, brother, if you had any words before we move on. Yeah, I was about to add too, because you've seen how women hate the truth when it's being brought out. It's a good example. <coughs> My point. Of, yeah. a, of a recent um, uh, example, Kevin Samuels. Now he true. He not even on a level of how detailed and um, how graphic our apostles and our elders might go into right. the woman. But look at his platform that he had, and look how much attention that it have is drawn. But look how much hate it 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 generated, it, uh, generated uh, by way of women. Why? Because him telling the truth of a woman's true place, that's not accepted in this world, man. <laughs> that's not accepted for you right. to tell a woman, look, you not what you thought you was. And really, when you go back to Eve, Eve, that's what that, that man in that garden fed her. Look, you could have a better life. Adam don't gotta be your Lord. You could be independent. He fed her that same thing. And yeah. look what it look what it got us today. Independent women, I-N-D-E, you know? Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was on yesterday. <laughs> yesterday morning, they were playing that on the radio. Straight up. Yeah. And and and, and we got all this to have a Mother's Day, man. And you know, Mother's Day way over Father's Day. You know, niggas oh, don't yeah, care yeah. about Father's Day, but it's the mother. When, as soon as you get rich, I'm gonna buy my, what's the first thing you go do with your millions? I'm gonna buy my mama a house. Right. Where mm -hmm. your father at? What about your father, man? But again, as, as you know, the, the, the brother been going into, as we gonna progress, not just on this lesson, but in this society in a whole, once things get worse, the true order of things go come back into place. These women go need men in that day, man. And what that is, Isaiah exactly. three, four, look, they gonna be willing to come, look, we in our place. We in our place, I understand my place, let us serve you, you know? We gonna bring that out, I'll be the So yeah, brother, if you had any words. I got the word. Yeah, you got the Ezekiel, let's bring that out. God is Ezekiel 34 and 31. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pastor are men. And I am your power, self, the Lord your house. Uh -huh, yeah, you, you, you want to break that down, break it on down. So, yeah, it says that uh, ye my flock, the flock of my pastor are men. All right, so the most high is, is dealing with the men. You know what I'm saying? The men are the, are the, are the heads, all right? You see, he, he didn't put the woman all right, before as, as the head over, over Israel, you know what I'm saying, over the nation. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. The man set up his head because that's the, that's the way the Heavenly Father set it up. He, he gave logic and reason to man. Go to, go to, uh, shoot, Job 39, where it say, uh, unto women will not depart in understanding. So they'll see this, they'll see us doing our thing in the will, in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, something misogynistic, right? But in, in, in actuality, we're doing this in order and in obedience to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, because he set us up as that that you know as logic and reason mm -hmm. he gave us logic and reason and this truth deals with logic and reason so it's not a thing of you know uh pitting men against women that's not that's not the message that we convey we love women we deal with women but women must understand the order and the process that the heavenly father set up for us to reach salvation sure. there's a process and that process is Men going through the fire to bring the women and children out or to, to, to uh, procreate righteous women and children. Because just as the apostle said, we don't need you women here in Babylon. Right. None of you, especially the end of. You know, because whoever we lay with will be, that, that child will be a, a, an Israelite. So the, the point is, it's a process. That process begins with men. It's nothing to do with being misogynistic or being a he-man's women haters club. Right. No, we love women. <laughs> women have a, a necessary place <laughs> in part. But until we start, you know, acknowledging and respecting each other's uh, purposes, you know, this is what Esau wants. This is why you, how Esau wins. Women don't understand our purpose. So how in the world could they, you know, at the least respect it? They don't even understand it. Yeah, we 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 working towards glory. We are working towards our perfection in Yahweh Shahamasiyah, so we can do away with the foolishness.
that's set up here in this world, man. Go go to Ecclesiastes 10 and 6 real quick. And uh, with that precept, that Job, 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 let's get that Job okay. to walk. It's Job 39, straight to the point. And verse 17, it says, Because the Most High have deprived her of wisdom. And her is the woman, man. And this is particularly speaking to the women of Israel, beginning with that, that uh, Judite woman, you know? But women all across the board were not given or imparted wisdom. Go ahead, bro. If I can add to yeah. Because just like every nation, even the tribes of Israel, who, who we follow? We follow Judah. Yeah. Judah set the trends. Judah got the songs, the, the, the stanky leg and the duggy. Everybody followed Judah. So, of course, with the women, who are who the northern kingdom woman go follow? The Judah woman. That's why they all saying the the fuck now. The fuck got the weeds. What the what the northern kingdom chick got weed for? The lashes. The lashes. Come yeah. on, man. Even the so and the, and the ashes. A a BBL. The BBL. Yeah. BBL. You got even yeah. what? Catch me outside. What a bad baby, little white girl. Catch me out. She want to be like the black woman. But the point is, the black woman, uh, as the end of, right? The uh -huh. the end of. She was set not only over the man in this time, not right. because of the Lord's will, but because the ruler thereof, Esau Edom, this is his program. What it said, bind a strong man first. He mm -hmm. bound a strong man, put the woman over the house, gave the woman certain goods to want her to put a man out the house. And that's why you see even too also our society and our families the way it is, man. The man is out the house. Yeah. You see broken families because the woman is the head. Look where they got us and, today. And women represent the chaotic principle. Women are chaotic, man, because they are ruled by their feelings, emotions. And that's one of the things we all had to battle. That's coming through that fire, as I mentioned. We had to battle this emotional nature that we got from being around women and a lot of us being raised by women. You know, you got some brothers that were raised by their fathers, but then you still around a bunch of emotional ass niggas. You go, you know, in your daily life, you play sports. You can't even get a game in like they, they say a nigga got shot over Uno. Yeah, mm -hmm. Nigga got shot over yeah. Uno game. You know, because you even though you might you might not have been raised that way, you around a bunch of a bunch of a lot of your peers have been raised that way, and so that vibration is easily <laughs> it can easily affect you because mm -hmm. you constantly around it. So that's one of the things that we struggle with is that emotional nature that Babylon seeks to put on you. You know, we have to we have to get that off of us for the simple fact that we cannot be effective as leaders. You know, as rulers if we're in that emotion the first and foremost. So yeah, brother. If I can add, the scriptures even say sit not in the uh, midst of women, man. Women. Yeah. Suppose you're supposed to be around men of, you know, that testosterone, that, that yeah. manly spirit, man. Right. You know, even our forefathers back then, they, they had their sons out early, early on doing manly work, you see? But I'll finish this All off right, for you. That's right, bro. All right. This is uh, Job 29. Put it from, you hear it from the top. Can I start from All the top right. again? It's Job 29. It's like a Job 39. 39. Yeah. It's Job 39. And I started at 16. It says she is hardened against her young ones as though they were not hers. Mm. Her, hey, what they fight for now? Abortion. You, it's right. supposed to yeah. be Mother's Day, yeah. but you, you want to kill your children. And they pushing for abortion. Yeah. Abortion. You, hey, you killing the ones who supposed to be celebrating your day. <laughs> you, you, you killing off the children who celebrating the Mother's Day. But that's just go ahead. No, I'll make your point. Now that, that's to show you the nature of these people. We was never set up to kill off our nation. The Lord said, "Be fruitful and multiply to the man." You see, that's why we got that mindset. But the woman, as we forward in our nation, as in other words, building a nation, they want to kill them off. Right, right, right. And you brought up a, a beautiful point. To a woman, that makes perfect sense to uh, legalize abortion, and then at the same time, in the same breath, we'll have Mother's Day. <laughs> you know, <laughs> now see, logically, that makes no sense. The brother made a beautiful point. That doesn't make any sense. It's highly hypocritical. But to a woman, it makes all the sense in the world. This is why they cannot be set up as leaders or heads of anything. And what do you have? You got Kamala uh, Harris. You got Katanji Brown Jackson. You got all these women that these Democrats are putting in positions of power not even knowing that that spells the downfall of America. Right. 
you know, any type of woman, you know, but we, we point out, you know, all nation women. Mm -hmm. So you don't make a point. Yeah, you know, Jen Psaki, because you, you mentioned certain yeah. women yeah. over America. Yeah. You know, Jen Psaki, the red-haired chick, the uh, speaker of the house? She's the... Uh, Look, she stepped down. You know who right, they, she stepped down. You know who they gave a spot to? A so-called black woman. Now, why, oh, oh, not just a so-called black woman, but she's the first openly gay so-called black woman. Now, uh -huh. so you gonna be, instead of Jen Psaki with the red head, you gonna be seeing an openly gay black person giving you the words from the White House, man. And now let's see what it's gonna take, among other things, what it's gonna take this, this current society, man. Downhill. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, kind of says, uh, uh, Job 39 and 16, she is hardened against her young ones as though they were not hers. Her labor is in vain without fear because the Most High have deprived her of wisdom, neither have he imparted to her understanding. Understanding. The two things, that, the two very things you need right. to be effective in leadership. The Heavenly Father deprived her of it. And y'all sitting wow. up here glorifying her on that day, this day, uh, May 8th, Mother's Day. And don't get me wrong, we love, we love mothers. Mothers are necessary, bro. Mothers are very necessary, but it's, it's, it's like they say in the world. It's not all the time what you do, but how you do it. And, uh, you know, shit, these women have just been put on the pedestal too much. You wanna, you wanna, you know, uh, celebrate your mother. Do it, do it in your time. Why, why everybody collectively got to do it on this day? You're not understanding what that's coming from. And at this time of the year, which is the time of the uh, the, the the spring equinox. See, they need that. They need that feminine. That, that really that that old simp energy. So, so they can uh, push forward their agenda. Right. You know, this is why this this falls this time of the year. And see, you got to be you got to be suspect of this this devil, and and his the the days that he put for you to praise. It's always an agenda behind it. But right, we 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 uncovering or unfolding that agenda throughout this lesson. And the brother hint on it is to destroy the families of the Hebrew Israelites. This is. This is Exodus chapter 1, come let us deal wisely mm -hmm. with them, 2.0. That's what all this, you know, uplifting the mother and let's give them a day and all this. This is what all this is about. The, the destruction of the Hebrew Israelite family, you know. But we're going to get back to these scriptures, though. Mm -hmm. You, you got a point? Out. Come on, real quick. Uh, okay, the mom was uh, Willie Lynch. You know what I'm saying? And uh, one of the major parts of that was to, uh, you know, take the father out of the household and put the woman as, as the, uh, the head of the household, right? And then start that contention between a man and a woman and, and you know, turn the, the young men to be dependent on their mothers, right? And teach the young daughters to be in the, independent. So they go all the way back to Willie Lynch. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Which, you know, Esau, Edom, all right? So he set the stage for all of that and, you know, Going back to the show in the households. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of. And to to masculize, you know, masculize. Am I saying that right? The mas the masculine. Masculine Nate. I don't yeah. know. To, mas hey. mas hey. to masculate <laughs> because they would see, because they would take the buck and break them, and that came out of Willie Lynch too, buck break. And what they would do would traumatize everybody to where the women would raise her sons to be obedient, submissive, and in a way, masculinized against this white boy, you know, because they had been just traumatized by, you know, the, the head figure being uh, dismembered, however, you know, however the case may, may have been. But right, that's a tactic that's being that's still being used, but through more sophisticated means, still being used to this day. You know? But yeah, brother, you get that, uh, please, man, please ask these out first, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Ecclesiastes 10 and 7. Come on. Uh, 
Really six. Yeah. yeah. So like it. To the six. Folly is set in great dignity. Folly is set in great dignity. And here on, on Mother's Day of all days, you know, you're going to see a lot of folly. Yeah. A lot of folly, you know. Niggas who don't believe in church, going to church, you know, um, just a whole bunch of just vanity. And that's the only way I could put it, just vanity, you know. But read that, brother. This, this is this is a, a kingdom full of folly. It says, folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low place. Right, and the rich sit in low place, and this is where we are. The men of Israel are the rich of this entire universe. But we're sitting here subject to the powers that be, Esau, Edom, because, you know, the, well, we were rebellious, and the Heavenly Father brought us down. So here we sit in low place. Even as the brother mentioned, if you want to contrast Mother's Day to Father's Day, it don't have that same, it don't carry that right. same vibration. You know, uh, uh, a nigga care less about his old man. You know, it don't, you know, it don't matter. You, you ain't seen him, you didn't grow up with him or, or none of that. That was how you got here. Your father is how you got here. You know? What's, what's that scripture? Uh, I don't know where it's at. Uh, a new thing? A woman shall compass a man? Yeah, uh, Isaiah, we're going to get that okay, too. Okay, the uh, 3 and 12. I got you. We're going to get that too. You know? Yeah, amongst Israel. Amongst Israel. And I don't give that. You get father. You only came through your mother. Your mother brought you The Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, the Holy Spirit, which are one in agreement, and then man. Yeah. And then man put that life in woman. And woman birthed that child. She didn't create that child. Nor did she give life to that child. I got a quick So, um, yeah, this whole world teaches us the totally wrong way so that we can go off and, and be praising and worshiping the wrong things, the wrong ideas. You got it, right? Just to back up what the, the brother's saying, because uh, you know, women today, they'll tell their children what? Well, I brought you into this world. Right. I can take you out, you know? Or well, you came through me. Or the, like they say, mm. you know, the Egyptology, the womb, men, the woman, you know, the womb, yeah, yeah. you know, come from the, the man womb. with the womb. Yeah, yeah, the womb, men, you know? The womb, like creation, that's why that woman say, as they say, the black woman is God, because they feel like all creation come from them. Well, that's not so. As he just said, the creation don't come from you. One, in order for that creation to get in you, it have to be through a man. Even if you want to be test tube, you That's know, right. test tube shut. It have to go yeah. through a man's sperm. Now, before it even gets to the man, that's ordained through the Lord, the Heavenly Father. How about exactly. Shemiah was shy, man? That's right. He set up who about the, what spirit about to be in that sperm. Right. To go in that woman to be born. How you think we all here in these appointed times? Yeah. But the point is, the woman don't have no control over earth. She don't have no control over her own child, man. That's all through your Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and that man that he sent that spirit through, man. Exactly. And uh, real quick, just to back up, you it. got it. Let's this, get it. This bro. second Maccabee 7, now this is a mother who has seven sons. So she completely understood, <laughs> right, the order of life, you know? Before we get into that, was you holding something, brother? Uh, yeah, but, but we, did we finish that one? Right? Did we finish that? Right, please answer again. Yeah. The rich sitting in no place, that was, all right, let's get it. Okay, come on. The second Maccabee 7, and I'm going to start at 20. All right. Now, just to give brothers, you know, a little clarity of who may not know. Now, this is at the time of the Greek Empire, when our people was forced to be Greeks or Gentiles. And they had to uh, eat pork. That was their outward temptation. They was forced to eat pork. Well, you had this family with one mother and seven sons. Now, her seven sons, including her, wasn't willing to eat that pork. They'd rather die than eat the pork, right? But as she about to tell them, she about to give them a, um, a, a what is called a, a hype speech, yeah, and a, you yeah, know, yeah. before the game to, to pump them up. She was giving them a speech before they all went through their persecution. And this is what she gonna say. But she even go acknowledge that, look, life don't come through the woman. 
That's the point right. of me bringing this that's out. Right. Life don't come through the woman. You know, not again, this is a wise woman acknowledging this. This is not that same Job 39 woman we read about who deprived of wisdom. It says she was given a manly mind in, in the scriptures. Damn. But it kind, that's you know? True. Yeah. It says, uh, matter of fact, yeah, I'm gonna start at 20. So the second Mac and shit, chime in, you know, whenever. Second Mac would be seven and twenty. And see, this is history. You understand? This ain't fiction. This is history. And this is a history that y'all don't have in the church. And, and some history that, that we're going to need as the brother uh, gave the prologue as to going into what he was getting ready to read. Uh, we're going to be faced with some of these same troubles. But see, we had the comfort of, of this account, the scriptures. We had this comfort. You people in the world, in your churches, you ain't going to have nothing to be comforted by. So you're going to eat the pork. In this case, the karate. That's the pork of our time, you know? This, this, this RFID microchip that's coming to be, MOTV, that's, that's getting ready to be mandated. See, a lot of y'all gonna take it because y'all don't have the comfort and the accounts of the, the histories, the rich history of Israel. Sure. So, you know, I just wanted to add that, man. This is, this is beautiful history, the brother getting ready to read. You can bring it on that, brother. Come. It says, uh, Second Maccabees 7 and verse 20. It says, but the mother was marvelous above all mm. and worthy of honorable mention. That's what we're talking about it today. What it is, what, April? May, May, uh, May, 8th. May 8th, Mother's yeah. Day. We talking about this woman as an honorable mention on Mother's Day. This is a true honorable mention because she put the put her trust and hope in you. How about she me how was shy, man? And, that, and that's a good point. You know, women want to be praised simply through entitlement. You know, entitlement. Oh, it's Mother's Day. Uh, what you gonna do for me? What I'm gonna right. get? What? And but you've been a horrible mother mm. ever since you gave birth to your child. Right. But on this day, you want to be praised. You want people to kiss your ass and do shit for you, and you ain't did shit for your children. Now I'm bringing that up to say this: that that entitlement is is heavy here in Israel. But why don't we, like the brother said, celebrate women like this? And, and Judas and Ruth, right. uh, uh, Mary, Esther. Mary Magdalene, because we celebrate uh -huh. every Passover. That's when uh -huh. Yahweh Shah, I don't mean to cut you off. When Yahweh Shah said every Passover, she will be in remembrance. And women like that, man. Right. You know? And what did they do? They left a good name. Man. They left a good name. They ain't have OnlyFans. Right. They, you see <laughs> what I'm saying? Women ain't concerned about leaving a good name. They just out here whoring themselves out and, you know, having kids, children they don't want. But then come Mother's Day, they want to, yeah. ah, my right, children. Right, right. Oh, it's, it's, it's idiocracy. It's fake. Very fake, fake. hypocritical. Kind. 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 But right, this, this is, I'm, I'm glad the brother made mention of this account because these the women we should be celebrating on Mother's Day. And, and again, women like uh, Judith and Esther, Mary Magdalene, women who who did something to forward our nation. That's it. Man. You women today, you're forwarding Esau's nation right. and his kingdom. And that's why you know Mother's Day is for you. Have, have at it. Just don't expect us to you know be all giddy and gung ho about your your wicked unholy day. Go ahead. I, so this back in 2 Maccabees 7 and 20, it says, but the mother was marvelous above all mm. and worthy of honorable mention. And then the, through the spirit of the Most High, <laughs> she's being brought out in this God. lesson, getting her honorable mention, you know? Damn. Con. On Mother's Day. On Mother's that, Day. That's that. Right. Con. Con. It says, and worthy of honorable mention, for when she saw her seven sons slain within the space of one day, mm. she bare it with a good courage because of the hope that she had in Yahweh. Yeah, so that come on man. You know you, you about to say something? Nah, I'm Straight up, bro. Now which one of our women trust in and we ain't talking about God and Jesus. Right. We ain't talking nah, look, right. we ain't talking about going to church. We talking about the true Lord, the true Yahweh Bashim Shah. Which woman you know really worshiping the true Lord and their true intent with the real names today, man? Think really mm -hmm. think about that. Mm -hmm. Think about that, bro. Now although brothers might have wives, should I you know got a wife who believe children, they know the names. 
But still, these are the women who really should get that, I don't want to say praise, but that acknowledgement. Not the women today we see, man. Not with the blonde wigs, not with the, yeah. the cumbrellas, the lashes. The umbrellas, not yeah. with the nails so long that you can't even grab shit. You can't use your hands. You can't grab the shit. Same ones on video twerking while they child sitting right there. I, I seen a video of a woman twerking and her son was behind getting twerked on. She was twerking on her son. And you want a gift on Mother's Day? Well, the brother posted, that's what I'm saying, on, entitlement. Man. A brother posted a clip where the chick was, was at, at the club dancing and her child was over there at the, in, the, in the strip club. Right? Yeah, but and she's a celebrity. Club. That goes, that, that yeah. count. It's good. Right. She's a celebrity. She it's a, good. She get, a, right. she get a pass. Nah, fuck that, man. The law going, look, that's why we looking forward to judgment. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what Mother's Day is. Y'all brought up a good point. Mother's Day, to put it in a nutshell, your brother just gave it to me. Mother's Day is giving women a pass. That's mm. what this day is. Uh, that's it. It's giving women that's a it. pass. That's no it. matter how horrible, what bullshit they done done all last year <laughs> to this day, <laughs> they get a pass. Hey, that's and true. Mother, <laughs> yeah, think about it. <laughs> this Mother's Day, all this, they get a clean slate. <laughs> Wipe out, don't worry about it, mama. I love you, mama. You know. Oh, that is crazy. But yeah, yeah, yeah we Man, go back to I'll it. I'll finish it off. Damn. It says, Dear Mama, Tupac. Right, yeah. <laughs> that dear Mama. Mama. You know, I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought you was a crack feet, you know? Right. Yeah, yeah. And then he called his daddy a, a coward, his old man. Come on, man. But again, people gonna realize today who, who the true prize of the Lord is, man. Come on, brother. You know? It said, remember, Adam, he, Adam named the animals. Adam already had dominion to help me came after. Adam already had the power. It's a help me, not a leader me. Mm -hmm. You ain't coming here to help me lead. No, to, to lead with me. No, you helping me. Talk to him. Straight up. That's Talk right to up. him. That's right. Uh, 1 Corinthians 11 and verse 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Hamashiach, mm -hmm. the Hawashar, and the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Hamashiach is the most high power. You know, just, just, you know, uh, show that order, man. You know what I'm saying? The most I put, um, the man, you know, is the head, and the woman is the, you know, under the man. You know what I'm saying? That's it, bro. Can't get past it, bro. Yeah. <clears throat> That's right. Even Deborah, right? Or uh, Deborah. Um, um, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. No, I was going to say another one. You know? Because she, 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 I'm sure she here today. Posting on Instagram right now, I have reincarnations. This is my children got me on Mother's Day or whatever. But nevertheless, she wanted that praise back then. But when Apostle Paul, a man of the Lord, was to mention that account in Hebrews 11, he only mentioned Barak. He put the focus on a man. But again, as we gonna get on in this, in this lesson and in the world, as the time go on, the focus is truly on a man. You know. But I finish this off. You got it, bro. Huh. And uh, and she chime in whenever the second maga be seven and twenty. But the mother was marvelous, above all, and worthy of honorable mention. For when she saw her seven sons slain within the space of one day, she bare it with a good courage, because of the hope that she had in Yahweh. It says verse twenty one. Yes, yeah, she exhorted every one of them in their own language, filled with courageous spirits. Right? It says, and, sh and stirring up. Now check this out. Now check this out. Because the, the, the elder bro brought out um, uh, how the two things for you to lead is understanding and wisdom. That come from a man, right? Understanding the wisdom. Woman was deprived of that. But right here, she had a manly mindset in this situation. In order to tell you right here, is a, a distinction between man and woman. If yes. a woman would have the same mindset in this time, why I had to say that she had a manly exactly. spirit? Exactly. If a woman had the same yeah. spirit, why I just can say, and yeah. as it is written, she had the spirit of yeah. a strong, black, independent woman. No, yeah. it says she had a manly spirit. Oh, uh, in, in her in her infinite wisdom. Right. Because it was none of that. Because it was yeah. her body, her choice. So yeah. she, she stirred up strength. No, it didn't say that. It referred to a manly spirit. Why? Because the spirit of a man uh, uh, far um, surpassed what a woman got, man. And it's not cause, just because you a man, because you have some men today who weaker than women. 
some men today who weak is the is a man of the Lord, man. A man of Yahweh Bashim Awashai. That's the spirit she tapped into, which is ultimately faith in Yahweh Bashim Awashai, man. It says, 2 Maccabees 7 and 21. Yes, she exhorted every one of them in her own language, filled with courageous spirits and stirring up her womanish thoughts, weak thoughts. She gathered them weak thoughts and put that shit to the side and said, look, no, this is another level. I got to take it to another level. So she, she put in a box those weak ass thoughts, which is in other words, womanish thoughts. It says, and filled with courageous spirits, stirring up in her womanish thoughts. With a manly stomach, she said unto them, with a manly stomach, right? Mm. She said, I cannot tell you, and it's to prove that women don't, you don't create life as a woman. Just because you, the, the child, son or daughter come to you, don't mean that you the creator, man. It says, I cannot tell, this is what the woman said, after she had that wisdom and knowledge, that manly spirit. This is what she said. She said, I cannot tell, I cannot tell you. She said, I cannot tell how you came into my womb. She don't, mm. You don't even know how the, the child got there. You yeah. just know, uh, uh, I'm, I'm putting it in modern terms, not talking about the woman. You just know a nigga busting you one night and you started feeling funny. You took a, a test and you pregnant, but you don't know how these bones growing just from a sperm swimming in your, getting your egg. You don't know how a bones growing. A brain is growing, limbs and shit is growing. You don't know how that's going on. That's all from the Lord, man. Which, which is a man, because you know Joe Biden said that homosexuals is made in the image of God. You know. That don't surprise me. So, but just to say real quick, like the seed already has life. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? The seed is already moving around, and you know, saying you, you know, in a man. That's right, bro. You know, just to, you know, make that point, because you know, as you said before. Earlier, you know what I'm saying, a woman love to say that I, I gave you life. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I, I brought you in, I take you out. But not knowing that the seed is already alive within the, uh, within the men. Yeah. Right. You know? Now you cook some food. You got some, say you cooking chicken wings. You got some raw chicken. You season it. You put your shit on there. You put it in the oven. Just because the oven cooked it and you took it out the oven, don't mean the oven ain't seasoned it. The oven ain't make, ain't make that meal you put it in. It just cooked it for me. Now, you know? That's yeah. what you was used for. The yeah. same thing for the woman. The heavenly father put the seasoning. He put the salt and the sprinkling on it and the spirit in that, man. Because of who that man, his father was. That's right. You know? That's, right. That's even us today. You know? And again, brothers may not have grown up with the fathers in their house. But I tell you this, we are Israelites because of our father, though. Think mm -hmm. about that. Because of our father, man. That's the only not way. because of the woman. That's the only way. That's right, guy. Right? So it says 2 Maccabees 7 and 21, and with a manly stomach, she said unto them, I cannot tell you how you came into my womb, for I neither gave you breath nor life. Mm. <laughs> mother's Day. This is a cut to Mother's Day. You didn't yeah. give breath or life. That's you right. didn't bring nobody into this world. You was used as that's a vessel it. to bear a man's that's seed, it. man. Come on, man. And that's why you women are created to with all these emotions, you know, with, with all these emotions, y'all, y'all are by nature empathetic, you know. So that's because y'all give birth and nurse and raise children to a certain age. You know what I'm saying? So you have to, you have to be able to feel for that child, you know. But for making decisions and and taking charge, that's not your lot. That's the man's lot. The two have to work together for the whole to operate. But yeah, brother, that, that's a good point. You got it. Yep. It says, she said, I cannot, 2 Maccabees 7 and 22. It says, and she said, I cannot tell you how you came into my womb. It says, uh, for I neither gave you breath nor life. Neither was it I that formed the members of every one of you. It wasn't even me that brought you forth. Exactly. And... It shows you her wisdom because what is she doing? She, she's taking a, a, a humble, she has a humble disposition to, to say, you know, I don't know and I didn't do it. That's her humbling herself as opposed to women today. I did this. I did that. I raised you. 
I put the roof over your head. I, I put food on this table. Right. All that I shit. The most I said, he is the I am. And in her humility, she's, she's acknowledging the I am. And she's saying, that's not me. I don't know. I didn't do it. It's, it's, it's something that's too wonderful for me to, to man, come on, uh, understand. Man. You know? And that's the thing. Niggas don't, you know, it's, it's a lot of things that are too wonderful for us to understand that we won't even acknowledge that we don't understand it. You know? And, and here this woman, she, she's acknowledging that. And then that, that shows wisdom in itself. Calm and collective. And then the state man. How many women today gonna be giving Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh shot? It's all get out, hat bigger than the yeah, them hats, yeah, yeah. hat bigger than the goddamn car. Easter Sunday hat. Y'all got it. Now, I'll wrap it up real quick and we can move on. So this, so oh, after, we get all the meat out of here. So it. after she exhorted them, it says, uh, she said, I cannot tell you how you came into my womb, for I neither gave you birth nor life, neither was it I that formed the members of every one of you. But doubtless the creator of the world who formed the generations of man right, and found out the beginning of all things will also of his own mercy give you breath and life again as ye as ye now regard not your own selves for his law's sake so she this is a woman mm. motivating her grown ass sons yeah why because yeah. she took upon a mindset of a man again it's not because i said it, the scripture says she stirred up stirred up a manly mindset but if it wasn't a difference between male and female why the scriptures just didn't say and she had the mindset of a woman and the strong black right. woman, no, it says she stirred up the mindset of a man to tell you the difference, man. You know? That's right. That's a beautiful point, brother. Yeah, that's, that's powerful right there. We can shut this lesson down, but then yeah, we yeah, got to yeah, take it full circle, though. Yeah, full circle. But, but, man, yeah, the water for that, brother. Um, you holding anything? Okay, hold on to that. That, let, let's get that woman she'll compass a man. It should be Isaiah 3 and 12. Okay. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 3. So we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at the contrast briefly between women back then, as the brother read about, how the women back then were for our nation and the women today. So you could go ahead, Isaiah. This is Isaiah, chapter 3 and verse 12. It says, as for my people, Children are their oppressors. Now those children are in reference to Esau Eden. You understand? You could go to Job the 30th chapter and Job tells you that they that are younger than I have me in derision because what? The, the Edomites came forth out of who? Isaac, uh, uh, who you would consider so-called black man today. So they are the children of Jacob, the, the Israelites, you know? Well, go ahead, brother. Isaiah 3 and 12, as for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. So, the Lord talking about his people, he said, as for my people, children are their oppressors. And then he goes on to say, and women shall rule over them. And this is what's happening today, man. Women are in charge. And this is why everything is chaotic and out of control. Things have gone berserk here in Babylon. Babylon truly lives up to his name as Babylon, which Babylon comes from the Hebrew root word babal, which means confusion. Right. This is a land of great confusion. Men no longer want to be men, they want to be women. Women never want to be men. Ever since going back to Eve, they wanted to be women. Women never want to be women, they want to be in a man's position, sit in a man's seat right. as head. You know? but don't have the discipline to, to fulfill them shoes. The Heavenly Father didn't give it to it. But the women are ruling over us right now. And when you allow that, then you have a people that's easily uh, controllable because things are out of order. You look at the households, when you, you scroll through uh, these news sites, you scroll through, and you see all types of, uh, of, all manner of evil taking place, you know, this one shot that one, that one shot this one, and all of this, 
you can you can go back to the roots of it. It's, you know, broken homes. You know, so women women rule over us right now. Uh, you brothers want to weigh in? Chime yeah, in. I was about to say even the society, because everything we're talking about mm -hmm. literally goes back to what was going on during the time of Adam Eve, Eve, and that that man, that serpent that came to her. He promised her. I'll make you a, a, a P, what is a, a, a RN, a registered nurse. You feel me? Mm. I'll give you subscribers. I'm, I, when I say these things, I'm putting them into modern terms, you know, of what our women was like, the things that the serpent brought uh, Eve, man. But look, I'll give you subscribers on Instagram. I'll give you an independent life. Yeah. You ain't got to want yeah. for no nigga. The serpent told her all this. So he was like, down. So I could be like my husband. Yeah. But again, Look what it have got us today, man. Hey, what the scripture says, we was go no longer be the head, but the tail. Yeah. With the woman ruling over us, we stopped from being the head and we became the tail, the last of the nations. Look what it's got us, man. The low of the lowest. You see? You got mm -hmm. it out. And then like, you know, I was telling brothers, uh, I forget who I was talking to, but you, you'll never hear more about talking about I'm strong and independent and I don't right. need my man. Right. You won't hear Ammonites saying, I don't need my man. I'm strong and independent. You won't hear Hamites say that. Every every other nation, women understand, that's just common, it should be common sense, but they understand the dynamics and, and the principles between man and woman and that they, it's, a, it's a correlation there, a kind of type of codependency in, in actuality, the man don't need the woman. The woman needs the man. But for in order for children to, to uh, progenerate, then they, they must, the, the two must become one. The man and the woman must become one. They are codependent in that sense, you know, in the sense of procreation. But you never hear these other nation women talking like all women do because that was the powers that be dealing wise with us feeding all force feeding all women that garbage that that uh uh, uh women's liberation garbage mm. you know mm. huh. and all women took it hook line and sinker because they were seeking power anyway you know but anyway man uh hit that one more time and then we'll, we'll move to the uh yeah, that remind me of uh xerxes remember when uh Bashti? She didn't want to come to the banquet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, he cut that woman's liberation shit off quick. He like, look, if she don't want to come with right. him and his wise man, if she don't want to come, fuck it. We're going to cut her off, send her on her way. We'll just replace her with a new queen. That's the mindset of an ancient man. Ain't no woman's liberation over here, man. <laughs> Ain't no woman about to be put on the pedestal. Either you can get with the program or get lost. That's what it is. That's what it says to rock. If she yeah. don't want to get along with what you want, cast her off, man. Because, hey, the scripture says because of the woman became the beginning of sin, and through her we all died. So, we, in other words, if we follow the woman's lead, what's going to happen to us? We all die. Exactly. Come on, man. And, and that's why you see all this death everywhere today. And the woman, she gets a free pass, as, as we stated, you know. She doesn't have to be held accountable or take any, any responsibility whatsoever. Although she's giving birth to these monsters that are running around here. Now, uh, brother reminded me of another point, a, a good point, you know. I mentioned how the, the mothers, she took a humble disposition, but the women today that have compassed us, they're very proud. They take a, a very pompous and prideful disposition today in society, especially toward us as men. And, and you know, they'll talk to you any kind of way, look at you like they can whoop your ass. Right. They, they just totally disrespect us, taking a position of pride. And we know what the scriptures say about pride. Pride goes before destruction. So a lot of you women, y'all here today for your own judge, to be judged. And you may not even know it. But this is why the prophets are set up. And we're here to let you know. Judgment is coming to America. And you women that's on this BS, hey, judgment is coming for you. Yeah. I got that scripture still. So this right. is, it's back in Isaiah 3 and 12. It says, as for my people, children are their oppressors and women rule over them. 
oh my people, they which lead thee. That's right. <laughs> that's, that's what you gotta do. They which lead thee cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy path. Mm. Man. So it's talking about who? It says they which lead thee, <laughs> but it's talking about who? The children who we established, that's Esau Edom, and all women. And and who, like I, I was saying it earlier, but who really reaps the benefit of Babylon? Esau Edom and the black woman. That's it. And so our, our, the men of our nation allow themselves be, to be led by both Esau and both the woman. And not even knowing that both Esau and the woman are going to lead you to death. We're telling you to come out of that mindset. Get back to Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah. Uh, come out of her, my people. Right. Follow Yahweh Shah. He's the only one that can lead you to life. Being led to by, by these children and these women will lead you to death. You know? So yeah, the water brother, you had some more. No, no, that was it on that. That was the point. Come. So yeah, we can bring that one that out. Uh, from Edo, uh, I had a description. Yeah, yeah, you got it. This is, uh, Titus 2, all right, verse 3, and going into, uh, once again, order. You know, this is what Paul was uh, writing. You know, he, he was basically going into establishing order. You know what I mean? So this is uh, Titus 2 and 3. The, uh, the aged women likewise, that they be in behavior as becoming holiness, not false accusers, not giving too much wine teachers of good things that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. All right, and we rarely see that today. All right, uh, shit, on the news, you always see it. Uh, Hell, just even out here, a couple of months back, or a year ago or so, uh, you had Eve, you know what I'm saying, so-called black woman, she uh, abandoned her children in that apartment complex, right? To where they were starving. One of them each actually died and it became, well, the body decomposed, man. All right. You see what I'm saying? This is what our women do to their children today, man. All right? Go up to the Planned Parenthood, man, which is set up in the, you know, in the J communities, man. Yeah. Right? You see, our women, majority, you know what I'm saying, they don't have love towards their children, man. All right? That's right. Yeah. Come on, brother. And we're not saying all, all mothers, but, man, a lot of you young women, y'all horrible, man. Going, you know, leaving your babies at the house to go to the club. Burning and not just you know fucking up they shit, but the, the children burning up the entire apartment complex, fucking up everybody else's life. Right. You know, the black woman is toxic, not just to herself and her children, but all who she come in contact with. She's toxic, and, and uh, she's protected for that reason in America. For that very same reason is why she's protected, because she's toxic, and the aim or the goal is for her to destroy us. The men of our nation. But she's been allowed to run amok so much that right. Hey, all her she she coming coming across the past and destroying the lives of all people here in here in Babylon. You know? She's literally hell on wheel, the BT twenty four thousand. Man. You know? But yeah, brother, you got it. Uh, Isaiah thirteen. Isaiah 13 and 12, I will make a man more precious than fire gold, even a man than the gold wedge of a fear. Mm -hmm. The golden wedge. Yeah, the golden wedge. Go up one. I, go up one. Uh, Isaiah 13 and 11, and I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. Right. Be not deceived. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that will he also reap. So the wicked have a great judgment coming. Read that again, brother. Isaiah 13 and 11. And I will punish the world for their evil. The world is getting ready to be punished for their evil. You know? So how many of y'all on, on this Mother's Day sat down with your mother and tried to reason with according to the scripture? Mama. Judgment is coming. We got to get ready, get right with Yahweh Shah. You know, 
And I'm not saying that that's the thing to do, but if you really care for your mother, why not tell her the truth? Instead of trying to celebrate her, her non-existent greatness, a greatness that doesn't exist, a greatness that has been fabricated, why not give her, give her the truth? And we already know a lot of you niggas don't have the truth. Cause y'all out here lost. The world is getting ready to be punished. And, and uh, this ain't the time to be celebrating mothers. You know what I, if you knew what I knew, you know, and again, we're not against mothers, and, and go go hug and kiss your mama. Give her, right. you know, give her a big old hug and kiss, cause this might, Lord willing, this the last Mother's Day. Straight up. But you never know when your last day will be here because the Heavenly Father is bringing judgment to light every day. You don't know when it's gonna be your day. So, and, and that's the realness of the truth that we have. The truth deals with reality. It gives us a sense of reality. See, if we didn't have this truth, we'd be out here to, at, the, at the churches with our mamas and all looking simple and shit like everybody else. But the truth gave us reality. Something that you don't, you don't have in this world. People are living in the matrix, thinking this life, thinking this real. But the truth gives us the real, real. That's why Yahweh Shah said, John 8 and 32, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. It frees you from sin, but it also frees you from the deception that that this society puts up as life and real and, and you know, what's good. Even the, the, the sense of what's good is wrong. So they done put good for evil right. and evil for good. Now it's good to be a trans, a mo, a, a, a you name it, a whatchamacallit. All that shit is good. Because you have no sense of reality, right. what's real. Because you don't have the truth. So this truth has our perceptions. And this is how we walk in the earth. We walk in the light, having sight, having the vision of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah because we have the truth. Celebrating mothers and, and you know putting them putting them on these pedestals that they don't belong on. It's time to put Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah on the pedestal. And and uh, we we're gonna finish that. We're gonna hit that verse, brother. You know where it's at? Uh, it's in Luke with uh, uh kind of so, uh, let's doing it again. Now it's oh, doing something. What? Do it again. Sometimes when you do that, plain mode, and then turn it on, back off. Okay, okay. That works sometimes. I know it was around the time he was taken up. When it, when it was kind of beat. What is that? Yeah, hey, if you could look on your phone when it said, when it said, bless all the paps, which bear you. Uh, you know, I was shot put him in that place. It ain't about the woman. It ain't about the woman, shit. Yeah, Luke 11, yeah, 20, 27. Okay. Kind. Shalom. And it's again, as the, the, you know, the brother was saying, Salakia cut off, but we'll just continue, you know? But, uh, yeah, let's finish that. It's Luke 11. Okay, I got you. I get it. Uh, yeah, let's go back to that. So the Lord is going to punish the world, and that's the time that we're coming to, man. But the powers that be want, want you to think that Everything is continuing as normal. Right. No need for alarm. Don't look over here. Just keep on this Mother's Day, y'all. Get your Mother's Day. Don't worry, about it. we got this over here. And, and keep on doing what y'all been doing. Meanwhile, judgment is getting ready to come to this earth. You got to get your mind on what's, what really matters. Read that, brother. Isaiah 13, verse 11. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. Mm -hmm. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. Right, and hey, that's beautiful that when, when the brother read Isaiah 3 and, thir yeah, 3 and 12, it spoke about the children who are our oppressors and the women who, who are, well, the children who rule over us and the women who are our oppressors. Ain't that, ain't that, uh, the children, children are oppressors and, and women that rule over us. Read that one more time, but it's, it's speaking about the children and it's speaking about the women. 
all right? And so the crowd, none are more proud than Esau Edom and the, and, and the women, especially the so-called black woman. So just hit it just to get that straight out for me. Isaiah 3 and 12, as for my people, children are their oppressors and women rule over them. And the women rule over us. <clears throat> so read that again, brother. Isaiah 13, uh, verse 11, it says, I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity, and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. So the arrogancy of the proud shall cease. And who's more proud than the, than the woman? So the Heavenly Father is getting ready to bring you down low, and we've been seeing bits and pieces of that here and there. Like the brother was talking about that cheerleader who killed herself, you know? On the outside looking in, you would have thought she had the perfect life. Right. But for whatever reason, she was miserable, empty inside, to the point where she wanted to take her, her own life. Well, this is scripture being fulfilled. The Most High is going to cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. And who's more proud than the, the white man and the, and the black woman? And they both catching hell right now. You know? But it's, it's in pockets right now. But trust me, this is going to be widespread before it's all said and done. Go ahead, I. It says, And will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Mm -hmm. That's also Esau. <laughs> Who's more terrible than Esau either? This man is a terror. He terrorized the, the nations terrorized the earth. This man has terrorized the earth. All the animals, you know. But go ahead, dude. we're going to get to the point. This is the point coming up. Verse 12, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of, of fear. So this is letting you know who and what the real prize is. The real prize are the children, the men of the nation of Israel. Because that's the man that he's talking about. He ain't talking about any and every old man. He's talking about a Hebrew Israelite man that follows the law statutes, well, rehearsing the righteous acts and, and following Yahweh Shai whithersoever he goeth. This is the man that's going to be made more precious than fine gold. One more time, I. So they don't understand that. They got you right now worshiping the woman and looking at her as some type of prize and, and pedestalizing her as if she's fine gold and she's she's death incarnate. She's death dressed up. You know? This is she's walking death. Yeah. Read that out. Isaiah 13, verse 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. And let's talk about precious because that's the key word there. And it don't have nothing to do with making man adorable. Oh, he's so cute. Girl, he fine. No, precious as in rare. They ain't talking about precious, the big black. Right. Yeah, yeah. We ain't talking about man. that. <laughs> it's talking about rare. And how's a man going to be made rare? By the previous verse. Verse 11, the Heavenly Father is bringing judgment to this world. And there ain't going to be no time. Well, it's going to be a time out in the sense that you're going to drop dead on this earth. Death is coming, man, on scales unimaginable. And you out here concerned with the wrong things. And right. this is all we're saying, man. It's a time. Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, tells you that. It's the time and the season for all things. This is the season of war and judgment. And y'all out here playing. We're in wartime. And judgment is upon us. And the Heavenly Father is getting ready to make men rare. Good men. Real men. Real men. The water. Rare. Not extinct, but very very rare. That's what gives things its value. And, and especially when they serve a purpose. See, men in the world, 
Well, their purpose is dedicated toward Esau and Babylon. Our purpose is dedicated to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. And in, in, in turn, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is going to look out for us and have mercy on us when that judgment comes. So Lord willing, we'll be one of those rarities and, and you know, be men of integrity and honor. Not just any old regular type of man walking around. You understand? So, uh, <clears throat> seems like I had one more point, but yeah, men will be made rare through death and killing. You can make your point, I was about to say, too, because, you know, Jeremiah 30 said that when all hell break loose, that's the time a real man will be made rare. But Jeremiah 37 said when that time come, men will be as women. Mm. Yeah. So your yeah. men that you see who macho yeah. men today, you right. macho men today when you can go get off work and buy you a six pack, you know? You a macho man mm -hmm. today when you can pull over, you know, cut somebody off in traffic in your truck, you know, especially on white boys in Texas. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then your truck lifted. You a macho man yeah. today because you got, got muscles, but when all hell really break loose, that's going to show who the true men. Why? Because what's going to make the distinction? Where's the men knowledge? Divine intervention. Women go yeah. see that. Yeah. Women go see that. Men go be panicking. But the point is, we've been in a society that women been leading and ruling, and We've been raised up to, yeah. well, you better know how to treat a woman. Right. right. But was yeah. women ever raised up, you better know how to treat a man? No. So therefore, when all hell break mm -hmm. loose, these regular men who don't got this truth mindset will be as women. And women will be looking for, well, who the real men who going to protect me? And that's when they going to flock to the men of the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. That's when it's going to happen. We're hey, we going to see it overnight. Overnight, man. Yeah. yeah. And, and again, <laughs> through, through Esau's whole acronym, you know, uh, madness, acronym mania, men have already, it's already begun that men are being, real men are being made more precious than fine gold. Because, like I said, now you got your, your trans, your moles, and all of this, your down lows, you can't forget your down lows. So real men are already a scarcity right now. Yeah. But Heavenly Father's talking about when he get, get to putting in work, it's gonna be even worse. And, and see what you have to understand, and I'm gonna move, let the brother move on. Uh, women are diamonds right now in this society. And see, you've been told that diamonds are valuable. Diamonds are, are precious. Diamonds are this and that. But there's mountains of diamonds in Africa, man, right. underground. Tons and tons of diamonds. So that's what women are like here in Babylon. You've been given a false value. Mm. You, you've been you've been given a, 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 a false uh, worth, and you're gonna come to find out that shit. I ain't really got it. Right, they go. I ain't really. Yeah. <laughs> they were told they were. Come. They were told there was diamonds. Yeah. But when that test come, yes. they do find you cubic cubic zirconium, yeah, man. Yeah, they got it. The test of <laughs> <laughs> so that shit yeah. ain't gonna beat, man. Huh? You know, <laughs> straight up. But 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 the point being is that <laughs> hey, yeah, you women y'all y'all been told that, but that's why I like how Apostle Tahar said it. We don't need you to bring the nation back. Y'all don't even right. understand. If you think you precious, the Heavenly Father got other nations, right. the, the numerous women that He can give to us. Man, so keep on keep on walking around Babylon playing yourself. So with that, uh, that was the point right there, brother. We'll, we'll close out with that loop. Kind. Unless you want to make a point. Kind. Right. I, we ain't got to get it, but because when we continue on that uh, Isaiah yeah, 3, yeah. it goes into how the woman was set over the man. But then the Lord went into the outcome of that. What he was going to bring those women who were set over the man, what he was going to bring them to, he was going to start to strip everything from them. And that's the time we in. Mm -hmm. Everything about to be stripped from these women. Whether it's wick, right? Whether it's uh, happy hours, you know, taking yeah. trips, so on and so forth. Reality is about to hit every woman. And if oh, I can read it real 32. quick, oh. if I can re read a little bit real quick. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm gonna read Revelation. I mean Isaiah three and twelve again, and read down. Re Isaiah three and twelve it says, "As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. Oh okay. my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err." and destroy the way of thy paths. So women set over us. But now, yeah. 
we seeing that, let's see what the Lord is about to bring them women to. That's what we coming into. To let them know you ain't the true prize. You ain't the true prize. So it says, verse 16, Moreover, right? Moreover, Yahweh said, Because the daughters of Zion are haughty, Because y'all set up, now y'all proud. Because y'all, I'm a PhD, now y'all proud. Because y'all driving in the bands in the apartment, now you proud. I got two masters. Yeah, two masters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm two degrees hotter. They have been said that. Real shit, she got, a, <laughs> she got a second degree. She said, I'm two degrees hotter. Bitch, shut up. Come on, man. But because y'all proud like that, you swiping left on every nigga on Tinder. Yeah. You know, a man come up, he just say, how you doing, beautiful? Oh, nigga, the fuck? Because of that, the law says, moreover, Yahweh self, because the daughters of Zion are haughty and walk with stretched forth necks and one time eyes, walking and missing as they go and making twinkling with their feet. Therefore, Yahweh will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion. That's why y'all gotta wear lace fronts. <laughs> it says that Yahweh will discover their secret parts. In that day, Yahweh will take away the bravery of their twinkling armory. Uh, ornaments. ornaments. You will realize you ain't you ain't a strong black woman. You ain't a strong woman. None of that gonna your PhD ain't gonna mean nothing in that day. Right. Cops, you ain't gonna better call 911. I need help. Please. 911 may be discontinued. You see? And I say well, your PhD and masters don't mean nothing now. Yeah. That you know. just tell the, that that tells when you go to these to apply for these corporate jobs that you you've been indoctrinated and that they know how to manage you now because you operate under certain psych psychology mm -hmm. so that lets them know that you know yeah i could trust her to run my corporation you know because you've undergone and satisfied their requirements of indoctrination that's how a phd means you know and that give them to the, the feel like they can step in the arena with men and have a dick swinging contest because I got two, I got two masters. I got a PhD. So nigga don't tell me nothing. I know more than you and this and that. So yeah, brother, I just want to put that in there. That shit don't mean nothing now. But when society collapses and the real shit hit the fan, yeah, you ain't gonna be your mind ain't gonna be on that. Right. You gonna be walking around Babylon, nigga, you know, running after you with a hatchet trying to hang, you know, throw up your PhDs or your <laughs> masters. Right. But yeah, brother. Straight up, man. And again, everything that these women have gained from being on top, we read and the Lord taking all that away. Mm -hmm. Think about that. That's what he's saying right here. It says, verse 19, the chains, the bracelets, the mufflers, the bonnets. Uh oh, uh -oh. That's, shout out to Kevin Samuel, man. Oh, hey, yeah, R.I.P., huh? Hey, he talking about the bonnets, man. <laughs> you see, one around here with bonnets on it. You know? I hate that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The shower cap on, it's man. <laughs> so it says the bonnets, and again, when all hell break loose, it ain't gonna be regular day day to day society. Again, women, you need right, tampons right. and pads for your period. It ain't gonna be that no more. Deal with that. You got to deal. It ain't gonna be no makeup no more in that day. Ain't no lashes. You have to do deal with who you are and your spirit, man. Mm -hmm. And walking around, brother. Woo. But they don't even see. We 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 meditate on these things, but you know, when society collapses, bro, you you have wild dogs running around and and shit. They can smell blood. Mm. Yeah. You know, from from miles away. You know, dogs got real keen smell sense of smell. That's cold. And and a woman walking around on that time, you know, her moon her moon time. Yeah, wow. it ain't gonna be no good, bro. Wow. Dog ain't no ain't take. Ate. Go ahead, I agree. Ain't no tell how long the dog ain't ate. Ain't right. So long. Shit. Well, smell that blood. Yeah. And that's considering a dog. That ain't that's even considering. That ain't even right. considering the, the newly created creatures. What they right. what they sense is talking right. about. And you got to think too. The law has set it up so beautiful. These women walking around a see through shirt with a nipple showing. Shorts. They ass falling out the shorts. So when all hair break loose. You think these women gonna be dressed in modern apparel on that day? Nah. You gonna be half naked as you've been going on, but now it's, it's a difference. It ain't no cops to stop a man from raping you. You see, you have the Lord gonna let these jail cells open. These men who've been up in there, 
uh, 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 uh. She got life, ain't seen yeah, a woman, yeah, ain't yeah, touched yeah. a woman in years. That's another ass. Been in solitary the whole time. Now he out and he just see your ass. What you think he about to do when no cops are around? This is the time we coming in. A woman gonna show you not the prize possession, man. And that's, you know, Lord willing, we'll, we've been trying to convey this right, whole Lord lesson. Will, you got that through this lesson. You see, although in this society, she been lifted up as she been a prize possession on the totem pole because of the so-called white man. His society made it seem as such, but Reality, when reality kick in, the true roles of man and woman will be showed, man, when times get hard. Yeah, it is. You see? That's but right. I, I'll kind of wrap it up. So it says, um, ahead, Isaiah 3 and 20, the bonnets, the ornaments of the legs, uh, the headbands, and the tablets, and the earrings, the rings, and the nose jewels, right? It says, uh, verse 23, the glasses and the fine linen, the hoods and the veils, and it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be a stink. And instead of a girdle, a rent. And instead of well set hair, baldness. And instead of a stomacher, a girdle of sackcloth and burning instead of beauty. Right? Now let's jump down. So when all this happened, when you lose everything, when reality kick in, this was going to be the next step. Isaiah 4 and 1. And in that day, so when a woman loses literally everything, even a bonnet, in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. And she chime in, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. She'll take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. A reproach. So the Heavenly Father is going to break and is breaking women down. He's breaking these women down. And they, they finding out, you know, what life is really about. Some of them. Now you still got some that's, that's doing well, still prospering, but that's gonna come a point in time as the brother, brother was reading that these women and even us, but we're going through the process of being stripped back by way of this truth so that the Heavenly Father gonna make sure that we have because we've been stripped back by this truth. And that's what this truth is about. And that's a whole nother lesson, but we, we being stripped back Everybody else that don't want to wear any other Hebrew Israelites who don't want to be Hebrew Israelite men that don't want to be stripped by this word, you, you're going to be stripped by judgment. So it's dealing with women. Women are going to be stripped and, and every, have everything taken from them right on down the line to the point to where they're not even going to be sure if, if they're going to live or not. If, if, their very life is going to be stripped from them. So that's the point that we're coming to. Now, when the brother read uh, that four and one one more time, God. it's Isaiah chapter four and verse well, one. Before we do, bring me get get that Isaiah thirty-two and, and nine, really, and, and we'll start from there. Hold what you got. Uh, if I may, your brother had straw for the uh, last week, one forty-four have uh, put in it, Isaiah mm -hmm. 32 and 2. I was going to get that real quick. Isaiah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Isaiah 32 and 2, and a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind. That's right. And a co cover from the tempest, as rivers of water in a dry place, as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. Hmm. So, now this, this wind, that the man is going to be a cover for women and his family, Lord willing. This wind is that nuclear wind of destruction coming forth from these missiles. So let's let's go through that again, brother. God. Isaiah 32, verse 2. A man shall be as the hiding place from the wind. So this leads even more to a man's preciousness. Because a man has a has a a, a, a purpose. A man has a, a, a value, a use, a use. What is What are these women good for today? You know, a lot of them nothing. And the ones who claim to be high value, their use is for the use of the enemy. They allow themselves to be hoard out for the enemy. And I ain't talking about strippers, I'm talking about you corporate types. And all y'all that's out here trying to, you know, work in this man's system, you're, you're helping to forward the enemy's agenda. So right here, just going into this, 
this shows a man's uh, a man's use, and that leads to a man's value. So read it again, brother. And this is, a, is you can't get above this. See, that's what give gold its use. His gold is gonna be all over the place when we get the kingdom. It ain't gonna be, it ain't gonna be rare. There's a lot of gold in the earth now, but it's gonna multiply when we get the kingdom. So can we say, oh, well, gold is no longer valuable? No, it has a use, you know? Due to its number of electrons, it's the number one conductor of electricity. Plus it shields radiation. And it look good, you know, yeah, Jake, bro, the gold look good. Love you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's fly. It's like silver. Silver is a, a, a detox. Silver detoxifies. It has a use. So that's what makes it precious metals. What makes man precious? This is hey, this is the number one answer right here. Just like just like uh family few. Read it, brother. This is the number one answer. Uh, Isaiah 32, verse 2. And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind, and a covert from the tempest. A covert from the tempest, the storm, the storm that's getting ready to come. So that storm is going to be on so many levels, man. You're going to have the flood of the enemy coming in. You're going to have the flood of judgment. It's going to be a storm. And going to that wind, that nuclear destruction, you're going to have a storm of nuclear destruction hit America from coast to coast decimating this place right. obliterating America go ahead doc. Uh, it said as rivers of water in a dry place as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land mm. that's talking about man so when it when it really go down the women you know, certain women, the Heavenly Father going to have certain women in certain predicaments to see or to come across, perhaps, a man of the Lord, and they're going to know instinctively that shit. this is the man I need to be with if I'm going to survive this. You know? The Heavenly Father put it in their spirit because it's up to the Heavenly Father who, who, who goes or who stays. So he got women out there that he wants to make it. He gonna have them run across certain men of the Lord. And in that day, they gonna keep their mouth shut as in what the brother is about to read. But uh, yeah, you got some more on that? That's heavy right there. I was gonna jump to that verse nine. Okay, that was it in that verse? In that verse two? All right. It's Isaiah 32 verse nine. Uh, Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice. Ye careless daughters, give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Terrible, ye women that are at ease, be troubled, ye careless ones. Yeah, tremble, huh? Tremble, ye women. It's so like a trouble. Yeah. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. So, yeah, finish that out, right. and we'll break it down. Isaiah 32 and 11. Trouble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you, strip you, it is. and make you bare, and gird sackcloth upon your loins. So the brother was reading about how the Most High said he was going to take all that as a part of the curses. But Esau allowed Eve to do what? Circumvent the curses. You know, you know come on, give Thou me shalt this. not surely die. Right. This is what we talked about in the garden. I'm going to put you up. I'm going to prop you up. So you have, you have uh, against the Heavenly Father, been propped up and put up again. And so that same thing is going to happen. The Heavenly Father is going to strip you again. This is why I'm saying, rise up, you women that are at ease. Because y'all are, are at ease because you have made a covenant with the heathen again. Right. And a lot of these these women talk about they got the degrees, they done pledged Greek. Yeah, yeah. You know? AKAs and shit. Yeah. A lot of y'all, when, when you went to your universities and your colleges, you pledged some uh, Greek sorority to get these benefits, you know? And so here we are, the scripture saying, rise up, you women that are at ease. Many days and years shall you be troubled. And we're coming into that. We're entering into that. But uh, let's see, what else did it say there? I, uh, 
Yeah, gird the sackcloth. Now, uh, yeah, that's the point. Yeah, uh, hey, why y'all looking for that? If I can add, that reminds me of the book of Eli, Verse which 12. is Eli, Allah, power. But when you go into that, everybody was struggling, and Salara, the chick, the Northern Kingdom chick, she wanted to follow him around. Why? Because she seen that he had uh, a spirit that was dealing with him. Mm -hmm. No matter what was going on, although he didn't have physically a lot, you know, but she seen that his spirit was was solid. Mm -hmm. He was he was content in the mind. He had an idea on what was going on, and that's the reason she was willing to follow that man. You see, but the same thing will happen in these times, you know? You got to go, bro. That's what's up. Yeah, we can read that 12 verse. That's key. Okay. Isaiah 32, <coughs> verse 12. They shall lament for the tick. Sorry. They shall lament for the teats, for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine. Yeah, so lamenting for the teats of Babylon. <laughs> Meaning the teats are what gives a, a, a child its sustenance. You know, that a child gets its sustenance from the breast or the paps or the teats. You see? And so they're going to lament because the, the Heavenly Father getting ready to take the teeth away. Wow. And they're going to cry because they're not going to be able to go and draw from, you know, Section 8, like Brother mentioned. Uh, you know, draw from all the goodies that they've been getting from the government, having access to these stimuluses and all this stuff, you know. Wait. What's that I speak on? The wick. You know what I'm saying? The wick. Yeah, long star, whatever. It's cool because yeah. he said the teeth, the breast. Now, not modern times, women don't produce as much milk as they did back then. And even when mm. they do, it's polluted. But this is the thing. What's the main source of women, or what is the main thing that women use today to feed their children? Similac and shit. Yeah. Ain't there a shortage on that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that, yeah. all that's been taken away. Yeah. Come on, man. You got it, though. Beautiful point. They, they, at, at the end, they should speak and not lie. Yeah, you sure all right, brother. It's a Similac shortage. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was the point right there, brother. We'll close out on that loop, you know. Okay. This is uh, Luke 11 and 27. It says, and it came to pass as he, and it's talking about your Howard shot. Luke 11 and 27. And it came to pass as he spake these things, a certain woman of the company lift up her voice and said unto him, Blessed is the womb that bare thee, and the paps which thou hast sucked. But he said, Yeah, rather, blessed are they that hear the word of the Most High and oh, keep it. Y'all break that down, brother. So in other words, you had this woman, again, that was a, a sign of that woman worship back then. Out of all what your was, you know, was going through and doing, she said, blessed is your mother. Man, who is this woman that you came from doing all this? Right. Just like today, she <laughs> said, blesses the womb, right? The womb men, you know, like you said, the womb men, you know? She said, man, blesses your... Today, look how much Mary is held at a high esteem. Your shy mother. You got the mother Mary, uh, uh, Abu, with the, you know, Abu and vocab. Abu came with the mother Mary shirt, talking about that's Revelation 12. But look how much Mary is held up in a higher esteem. But to show you that it's nothing about the woman. Yahweh Shah replied, he could have said, come man, blesses my mother. Many a times he could have said, man, my mother this, my mother that. Many a times he put his mother in this place um, and put her under the word of the heavenly father. But nevertheless, he didn't give the acknowledgement to his mother. He said, bless, not blesses my mother, which she was blessed too, although, among many women as the angel told her, but this is what your Shah responded though. Which is say, look, it ain't about the woman, just as the one the uh, mother in Maccabees, man. But it's uh, Luke 11 and 27, it says, and it came to pass as he spake these things, a certain woman of the company lift up her voice and said unto him, blessed is the womb that bare thee and the paps which thou hast sucked. Cause you could have a woman bear children, but those children could be Niggas, those children could be two thirds. Right. Those children could be fruit flies or rainbow flag supporters. You see, so yep. that don't mean that just because you bearing children. Yep. What's the ultimate um, possession, though, man? It says, but he said, yeah, rather blessed are they that hear the word of the Most High and keep it, and that start with the men. 
the flock of the Lord pastor is men. So blessed are those men who receive this word and whether wives, if that's your husband, blessed are you because that's your husband. Yeah. Children, blessed are you because right. that's your father, man. That's right. You see? And us as men, blessed are us because the law, Yahweh by Shem al Shah, allow us to receive this word that's going to uh, be the stability of our times, man. Right, Not the woman just because you bearing children. Man. Again, you could bear niggas, man. You see? Come on. And that ain't up to the woman, is it? She ain't the woman up to the can't woman. say what she wanted her child to grow up to be. Right. Y'all like to take all this credit, you know? But yeah, brother, just to uh, finish edifying, I almost forgot that Isaiah 4. Gotcha. But yeah, that's the beautiful point right now. And this is how we are being made more precious than fine gold. Because we have a love for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. And that, that makes us blessed. Blessed are they who hear the words and, and you know, can do them. But yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll hit that and then get on up out of here. Okay. If I may, I can finish the last two verses of three and jump in four. Yeah. Isaiah 3 and 25, going into the woman, it says, And thy men shall fall by the sword, and thy mighty men in the wall. So your men will be taken away. So you could be left to yourself. Mm -hmm. It says, yeah. And next, and her gates shall lament, lament and mourn, and she shall be desolate and sit upon the ground. Now you go realize, damn, I ain't shit. I ain't the, 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 the queen of heaven. I ain't God, right? The woman. And this is what you're going to realize, Isaiah 4 and 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. And that's saying in a nutshell, you women going to get in order. And that ain't going to have nothing to do with the man having another woman. Cause he, he might have a crew of women and yet you still gonna have that same mindset right if you're in your right frame of mind because it's all about that reproach you women are under great reproach and the only way you can come from under that reproach is through a man of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah there's no other way you ain't gonna go you ain't gonna go over our heads and go to, to Yahweh Shah right definitely ain't about to go over your Howard Shire's head and go to your Howard. No, you're going to get in order in that day and get with a man of the Lord. And the Heavenly Father put a spirit in his heart to have mercy on you, right. you know. And so be it. You know, because at the end of the day, it's going to be up to the Most High, but the choice is going to be left with the man. You know. So, yeah, it, hey, and with that, that is what it is. Any last words, comments? Well, man, we pray that you brothers are edified through this lesson. You know, just something we just uh, came through with in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. So we pray that it was edifying. And um, much love to all you brothers. And to the next one, hey, Shalom. Shalom. So much for Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs>